What's up, beach bums? Today I'm trying to catch Pompano. I think we got a shot at him. It's extremely windy. I'm trying to block the wind a little bit with my car here because it's coming from the east. I don't know how fishing's gonna go today. I've got a trip actually, but I'm, I'm getting out here early and doing a little fishing for myself because I feel like if I can get baits to stick, which it looks like it is rough out there, so it might be tough today, but uh, I think we got a shot at Pompano. And I'm gonna try to do a Pompano catch and cook but I'm gonna put a little spin on it. I'm gonna let you guys decide the recipe. If I can catch one, I'm gonna post on Facebook and ask for you guys to comment your best fish recipe. And uh, I'm gonna pick the one that I like. And whichever one I do pick, I'm gonna send you two packs of fish bites and a Bama Beach Bum sticker. We'll see what we can uh, come up with out here. Hopefully we can find some fish. Hopefully we can actually fish in this wind. I just had a bait out and it was not sticking. I know it's hard to tell on camera, especially the GoPro, but it is rough as junk <laughs> out here. And that current is ripping. So I'm gonna go to another beach where the bar, this is a good example. Uh, we might be able to fish today, despite it's really rough and a lot of current. The bar is closer to the beach at the, this other beach I'm about to go to. Sometimes you can use that to your advantage. You can use that as protection to kind of break up some of the current and some of these waves coming to the beach. And you can usually still fish close. You just can't fish far. So I'll see you at the new spot. We'll see if we can get baits out. Well, this is turning into an anything catch and cook. <laughs> I've canceled my trip for today. Uh, conditions are terrible. I mean, wind, I don't even know if you can really hear me. I've got a wind screen over my GoPro. So hopefully it's not too terrible wind noise and I can actually use this audio. <laughs> but the wind is blowing about 20 miles per hour plus. Um, it, it's, here, let's see if I can kind of show you. you, can, you can see, hopefully you can see that, that sand just blowing there. And uh, the, the surf is just turned to crap and it's super dirty. You can probably see. I can only fish close because, you know, further out, you, your baits are just, they're gone. Um, and the water right now at this particular beach, it, it, we're on an incoming tide, but it, the water level is just real low. It's, it's super low. And so it's just not very deep at all on this side of the bar. So I don't see much of an opportunity at really anything other than possibly whiting. I've already had baits out for about 10, 15 minutes and I haven't had a bite. I may stick it out personally just to see if I can catch a fish to do a catch and cook, but uh, it ain't gonna be a good day. I can tell you that right now. It's a miracle. We got a fish. Hopefully it's not a catfish. Oh no, 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 no. Did we lose this? No! No! Dang it! Oh! Oh! How the heck did that happen? I don't know if it was just a catfish, but man, I haven't seen a bite all day. I, I, I normally don't care when I miss fish. But that one hurts. We aren't gonna be getting too many swings at the plate today, so that's heartbreaking. Possibly could have been a catfish. Uh, you know, th these are definitely catfish conditions, but I don't know. I don't know what it was. I would have liked to have at least seen it. Oh, goodness. A real subtle bite. Oh, 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 there it goes. <laughs> there it is. I saw it messing with it. Might be, a, might be a stingray. Oh, that might be a drum. Could be a drum. They do that sometimes. I'd be happy with that. Real, real slow bite though. Real slow. Ah, uh, come here. Feels 
like a drone to me. I think he got tangled in my other line or I got another fish on to my right here. I think it's a ray. bad idea oh that was way that tide is coming in for sure uh, i need to get him further up uh, dang it uh, rough surf is not easy to land fish all right we caught a fish! <laughs> it's a miracle! Based on how this thing hit, I would definitely say that's what this, the other one was. Um, I am going to keep him. He is uh, hes a little bit bigger on, on, on the bigger side. I don't have a way to measure exactly, but he's probably upper 20s, I would say, on inches. Yeah, he's probably about 29 inches just shy of 30. Um, this uh so he's not like massive but uh we'll keep him he'll eat good he might have worms but that's okay you can just pull them out or cut that piece of meat off usually as long as they're not all in the meat you're, you'll still be okay but uh how about catching cooked black drum? Big ugly, huh? <laughs> no, he's not, I wouldn't qualify this one as big ugly, but he's probably, just, you know, your average size black drum here. Okay, I'm posting on Facebook now the picture of the fish and explaining that I want you guys that follow me on Facebook to comment your best recipe below and I'm gonna cook it. Whoever I pick, I'm gonna send two packs of fish bites and a Bama Beach Bump sticker. So, go ahead and hit share. Share now. And there we go. It's up on Facebook. So, uh, I don't know how I'm gonna cook it. It's up to you guys. We're in the kitchen now. It's been a few days. I've had the fish on ice in the refrigerator for like four or five days. So, should still be pretty fresh. The recipe that I'm loosely following is Brian Sims, so I'll reach out to you, I'll message you and get your address so I can send you those fish bites and a sticker that's gonna be coming your way. We are doing this on the half shell. This is the black drum. This is a chunk of it, probably more than we need. I'm gonna be using just some Everglades seasoning, salt and pepper, some lemon, and once I get it on the grill, I'll put some butter on it as well and we'll just cook it the flesh side down first and then we'll flip it over and cook it the rest of the way on the scales. I've never done this, so there's probably better ways to do it and I'm probably doing some things wrong. Comment below uh, your best recipe and ideas for how to do it this way as well. First, I'm just going to spray on some lemon, lemon juice. And then after this, I'll probably cut up some lemons to put on there once I put the butter on, when it's on the grill. And these are pretty big fillets, so I'm gonna put a decent amount on here. And then just a little bit of salt and pepper, not too much because I am putting some additional seasoning on. And then I'm gonna dust on some Everglades original seasoning, seasoning not too much. You don't wanna make it too terribly salty. And we are ready for the grill. I'm gonna start meat side down first. 
I didn't put any oil or spray the grill with Pam. Hopefully it won't stick too bad. I'm not going to leave it on there too long. I just want to cook that a little bit and then we'll flip it over and cook it the rest of the way on the scales. And then we'll put on our butter and lemon after I flip it over. So we're going to get this on. There we go. It's been a few minutes on this side, so I'm going to flip it over. Hopefully it didn't stick too bad. Ah, nice. There we go. And now we're going to cook it the rest of the way on the scales. So I'm going to go ahead and add some butter and lemon. But that is looking delicious. I think it's done. It's a pretty thick fillet, so I've had a difficult time making sure it was done. Something that did happen, again, this is my first time cooking a fish on the half shell, but of course the meat shrinks up, and I, you know, I know that that happens. And also the, the skin's gonna kinda shrivel and kinda fold. You know, normally if you cook fish with just skin, you score it, but of course these have the scales on it, so wasn't real sure about that. But a lot of the scales, I had to clean them off. They, they kinda fell off of the filet, so that was kinda odd. I, you know, if you've got a solution to that or a better idea, comment below, let me know how you do it to make it look a little bit better or work a little bit better. We'll go ahead and take this off with a grill. It looks pretty good. Smells good. Here's my first attempt at any fish on the half shell. I know a lot of people cook redfish this way. And I've wanted to try this for a long time and it seemed to be a popular suggestion and I went with Loosely, again, the recipe that Brian Sims listed, so I will reach out to you. But let's give it a shot. It looks pretty good. Hopefully, it tastes okay. Turned out fantastic. It tastes great. Um, I have, I've had black drum this size before. I've even eaten some bigger than this before. And the the difference in the smaller black drum and the bigger black drum, in my opinion, of course a lot of people say it's worms, which a lot of the smaller black drum have worms too. And again, worms don't hurt you. Uh, you can just remove them from the meat or cut off that section of meat. You can even eat the worms if you want to, but obviously that's not very appetizing. But the biggest difference between the smaller ones and the big ones, in my opinion, is it's just tougher. The bigger ones, they taste great. The meat is fantastic. It's just tougher. So that's why I usually su suggest and encourage people to release the bigger ones they do breed. Uh, you know, of course, keep anything you want that's legal. I'm always a proponent of that, but wanted to get this fish in here, catch it, cook it, show you guys what it's like to eat one of these bigger black drum. And it's delicious. It's good. If you need some fish and you catch one, no reason not to take it home if you just want some fish and want to feed your family. And did something real simple, just did some seasoned rice with this. So I am going to take a bite here with some rice. I put some spicy stuff on it. I put chili powder and some cayenne pepper and some Everglades in the rice as well. So kind of a Cajun-y dish in a way a little bit. But guys, hope this video helps. Hope you enjoyed it. I'm not a big fan of doing catch and cooks. I'm not the best at it. And uh, I know there's a lot of other YouTubers that do this and do it very well. But I uh, just want to have some fun and throw that little twist in there by letting you guys pick how we cook it. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Let me know. We might do it again. But as always... You stay bummy.